So for the ARP head stud uh, install here, it comes with instructions. And basically that is how you're gonna torque the bolts. Starting with one, going all the way up to 26. So I'll show you what that looks like in here. So good idea is to make sure you have this facing the right way. And that's the right way. Just lie it down in there. And you're looking for number one. So that's after 20, 21, 13, and five. 21, 13, and five. So number one is right here. Basically in line with cylinder three. So because we're doing it one at a time like this, you don't need to worry about a head gasket. This is, I guess they found this way to work without ruining the head gasket. So it's 18 mil. You're probably gonna want uh, an extension cause yeah, this isn't gonna really work. I got number one loose and try not to get any oil in the hole or as least as possible because that will ruin how the next uh, or the stud bolts down. So that's the uh, head bolts, which we'll be replacing with the head stud. The coarser threads are gonna go to the bottom and the fine threads will be at the top. Fine threads, coarse threads at the bottom and we're gonna be using the fastener assembly lubricant. Basically drop the uh, new stud into that hole like that and it's only finger tight down. So now you're gonna coat the top threads, the fine threads in this. You don't need too much, just enough to coat the outside. So now you're gonna take a washer, drop it on top. And then throw your nut on there. And throw a nut on there. And the size of these are 14 mil, 12 points. So snug that up with a ratchet and then proceed to torque it down to 124 foot pounds with your torque wrench. I'd like to mention uh, some of these head bolts and the new head studs going in are uh, going to be in water jackets, some of them are, and those you're gonna want to put some sort of sealant on the end here. Because if you don't do that, coolant will leak into the head or your valve train there. You don't want that. So Permatex usually has high heat sealants, you can just throw a little bit on the threads. The outside studs on the manifold side, for example, this one, this one, this one, this one, and there's one at the back, or two at the back, six total, I believe. Um, all of those, you will notice you have ones that are a little bit longer in your kit, and the long ones go on the left side here, where the exhaust manifold is so I just thought I would point that out so that's what it looks like with the intake uh, rocker arm removed very easy just to 10 mil and they slide up be very careful with them if you're gonna screw anything up you don't want to screw up your rockers um, so yeah that should leave enough room to get in there with the 18 millimeter you might need a short socket for this one um, I've seen people remove the uh, exhaust side too. I don't think that's necessary. So yeah, I prefer things easier. So I'm just gonna do the intakes. Just finished with uh, my number four head stud, which was the one requiring to remove the rocker arm here. So I'm ready to back install it. The foot poundage for this is 27 pounds alrighty so a couple hours later I have all the head studs done as you can see everything's been replaced 
honestly pretty easy job it's just very tedious and it took a long time because it's one by one kind of sucks um, but it is a good upgrade slash mod to do to basically bulletproof your engine for the higher power higher power levels and boost levels um, so the ones at the back there I would say the back four so very back to that one that's under that rocker and then these ones weren't as bad but those three back there you're gonna have to just like maneuver in the uh the stud kind of angle it in and bang it in a little bit they do go in though um so i'm just gonna clean up around here clean up around the engine bay uh, some of my insulation is coming off, so I'm going to clean that up, vacuum it, so none of that gets in the valves there. And then uh, I'm going to start the chuck, check for leaks, make sure none of the uh, head studs with that go into coolant jackets are leaking. And once that's done, throw on the valve cover and call it a day. So that's my valve cover back on. Decided to paint it while it was out because the old one was looking pretty ugly. Not a fan of the color, but this is the only high heat, high heat paint I have currently. But uh, that's it buttoned up. Overall, pretty easy. Did my injectors and the ARP head studs. If you guys are gonna do something like that, just make sure you have a day because it basically took a full day for me to do that. And I wasn't rushing or anything, I took my time. Um, so yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. Yeah.